Hello everybody, and welcome back to the wonderful world of Pixelmon. Now, I was trying to figure out what to do for this episode when I realized we have orbs that we got from the boss fights. Now, in order to... For those curious about what the orbs are, they're the orbs used for Moltres, Articuno, and Zapdos. However, in order to make them the specific orb, you have to take an orb, either a Firestone, Thunderstone, or a Ice Stone. I only have Firestone at the moment. You can make an orb of Fiery Souls, Static Souls, or Frozen Souls. And as you go through and defeat Pokemon, I believe they fill up. So if we were to kill this Surskit, I would believe that it would fill the thing a little bit. Yeah, it fills it. 374 more KOs. <laughs> well, that's great. So we gotta kill 374 Pokemon. <laughs> However, oh, this is not the one I want. You're hard, you're hard to see with. The one we want. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out and try and find a Thunderstone and an Ice Stone. Now, if I remember correctly, there should be an Ice Stone. Ice by him somewhere that we found? Yeah. Ooh, we almost died. <laughs> but, as long as we stay around here, I think ice type Pokemon will start to spawn. And if we find and kill ice type Pokemon, they have a chance of dropping shards. And just like straight up the stones themselves. This is mountains. I don't think this qualifies. Does it qualify? I don't think it does. Which is honestly a shame. Hmm. We might have to find like an actual ice biome. Which I have no idea where to go. I think we need to find like an ice crag or a taiga or something. This is t like a frozen tiger or something. I think over here is honestly the best chance for it. Let's check it out. Yeah, okay, so now we're over here. You're still in the mountains. Now, this is the Team Galactic base. We don't need the Team Galactic base, but... Oh, there's just an ultra wormhole just right there. Interesting. Oh, you know what? That honestly might be a good idea. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. If we were to go through this... Really? There we go. If we were to go through this. <sighs> we are in the plant section. Okay. Ultra plant. That's useful. There's we can fight these guys here, and there's a good chance that these electric types can drop thunderstone shards, correct? He wants to learn solar beam? New. No. And aluminum. Yeah. Wait, there's a beast ball there. Hold on. Amara? We don't need you. US could be useful though. I have no idea. There's ice types here, which I guess gives us the chance to get the ice stones we're looking for. Darkinium Z. Interesting. I don't think we have the Z ring we need to do Z moves, but oh well. Electrode, you seem like something that would give me, uh, something. Uh, the stone, yes. Uh. Alright, I forgot that. Oh, hell no. Oh, 
Oh no. There we go. Okay. Slash. Okay. Heal. And we are out. Forgot everything in here is like a freaking horde battle. But yeah, in here we can find far more electro types and honestly, probably far more. Uh, Oh, that's a fancy looking Zubat. And far more uh, ice types. Yeah, like that Glacia on there. I bet that Glacia would definitely give an ice stone. So if we were to smack it with the ball. Come on, Glacian. You, don't wanna, you know you want to get in the fight. Yeah. Just one tap that. And then does it give? Get blue ice. Pray. For noise, uh, yeah, another glacier over there. Fight. Bronzor? Oh, get out of the way. You're in the way. Hey, Glaceon. We were just looking for you. Okay, fine. Max fair the Glaceon. Not the bronze ore. What's wrong with you? What? That's not what I told you to hit at all. Max Flare the Glaceon. Thank you. No, you do not need to learn Double Edge. Max Flare the other bronze ore, I guess. But you're asleep? Really? No, we're not we're not having that. Fire punch that bronzor. So we're dragon dance dragon knight. Why why would I need to select a target for dragon dance? Well, we'll just fire punch the little torp. And wing attack the Sunfisk. Why are you down in the hole, dude? Yeah, I don't care. Uh, blue eyes. Take the base. Still nothing, huh? Okay. It's odd. Hold on. Poke a heal real quick. Glaceon, right there. Of course, it's always with the big fights. There we go. Come on. Give me the stones. At the very least, this is good... Uh, <clears throat> good progress for the other ones as well. For the uh, Orb of Fiery Souls. Because once we find an altar, then we can just use the orb and it will go from there, I believe. Just take care of the Electabuzz. Electrode? What? Wait, why did you take out the Electrode? I don't want you to take out the Electrode. Guys are leveling up, which is also very nice. Drop ball. Rock ball lid. Just straight ice. What Pokemon drops what then? I need somebody to drop the specific stone or stone shard. Maybe you. Maybe Aurorus. Come on. Why did you hit the Bronzor? I didn't tell you hit the Bronzor. I told you hit the Aurorus. Man, this guy just does not want to listen sometimes, huh? Take out Aurorus. Voltorb blew up. Aurorus. What? Why did? Why are you? How are you confused? Oh, because one of the bronzers used confusion. Of course. 
Powder snow, jeez. Yeah, take it out, please. Thank you. Take out that bronze ore. Then take out that Voltorb. T -t 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 take out the Voltorb. There we go. Don't need that. Did I get a stone I wanted? I did not. Man, how hard is it to get a stone here? Oh, you know what? I bet that Electrovire will definitely have a stone waiting for us. Because that's a fully evolved form, one you can only get through trading, so it's got to have good loot. Or not. Man, so why are stones so hard to get a hold of? Oh, a Sogalio. Two Sogalios. Ooh. That could be nice. Ultra. Ah, but. Go, go away, Glaceon. You, you don't give me what I want, so you're useless to me. And what was that in? Uh, Ultra Desert? What? There's no Ultra Desert near here. Is, oh, there is. <sighs> Wow, there is really just an Ultra Desert nearby, huh? Ultra Desert, yeah. Uh, which side am I closer to? This one, so... I guess we'll go around there? The right way? Yeah. Okay. We'll take a small detour. Uh, some of these dens are starting to spawn in. I feel like we get a good chance, stand a good chance of getting them out of the the dens too. Okay, so here's the ultra desert. That's a vibrava. You are not a Solgaleo. You are not a Solgaleo. That is definitely a Solgaleo. No idea what that is. Yeah, there's a legendary right here. We'll, we'll take a shot and try to get him. Not the time. Thank you. Okay, so what should we use? He's psychic... Psychic metal? I thought he was fire... Fire steel. Yeah, Dragon Eye would do fine for that. Ow, what? Ow. Now Dragonite's poisoned. Thank you for shoving me into things, people. So Galio's one sun. Oh yeah, Max Flare did a good one. Cosmog spawned? Oh, this is straight up Cosmog? Ooh. There's a person there. Oh wait, wait, there's a few people around because it's a den, right? I was like, why are there people? Oh god. Come on. Wow, you're all so not helpful. You're not even proper typage. Oh, and he has morning sun. Oh, that's so irritating. Oh, Dragon Ice back down to normal, too. Oh, no. Oh, why are you full health again? Oh, my gosh. So, Galio's a pain. Okay, you know what? No, I'm not doing that. We're full heal. Oh, yeah, they paralyzed So, Galio. That's actually really good. Fire Punch. Why do you constantly... Why do you have Morning Sun, man? That's so irritating. No, no we're not even going to do that anymore. We're going to heal him. Because right now we're just going to kill him. I'm 
to Dragon Dance. Of course he has this. Come on. Come on. We dragon danced and then we fire punch. Of course you heal. Why do you always heal? Oh no. I'm gonna need more dragon dance. Uh oh. We're reaching the turn limit. Oh no. Not good. Why do you have Morning Sun? Why? That's so irritating. We're gonna get forced out of the battle at this point. Oh, that's why we're not doing as much damage. He keeps increasing our attacks. So Galio's such a pain. We might be better off just going to get that Cosmog. Ow, 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 god, oh god, oh god. Is there supposed to be a Cosmog around here somewhere? There is... Oh, there's the Cosmog. We can just go get the Cosmog. Because Cosmog here. Oh, don't. Don't. We're not doing that. We are not doing that. Oh, hell no. We are individually fighting. Nope. Nope. Get, get back here, Cosmog. There we go. This is an individual. <sighs> that was the wrong button. <laughs> this is an individual thing. We, You are not getting away that easy. One, two, nope, Cosmog. Wait, did any of my Pokemon know Hypnosis? No, none of my Pokemon know Hypnosis at the moment. Okay, so if we slash PC, it's like, why is Caps Lock on? What the? Okay, and we get Gothitelle out instead of you. <sighs> Go away. Gothitelle is, of course, unconscious. Where did the... What just happened? What? Where did the Cosmog just go? Oh my gosh. Go away. What is with all the swarms? Here. We... Come here. Hypnosis. Because we can't touch him at all because he's just gonna disappear. Because Cosmog is weak. Cosmog is pitifully weak. Well, we caught a Cosmog, at least. So that's either a Lunala or a Sogalia once we level him up. Alright. I suppose we can take a quick break and just keep looking for that other Sogalia, because it spawned twice. There's two around. I don't know where around, but he's around. You're not. You're not. You're not. You definitely are not. You're not. You are not. You're definitely not. Nope. 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 No. No. No, and a Krasma? Ooh. An ultra plant, huh? Hmm. 
Now the crossbow is kind of hard not to see. Let's see here, Necrozma, Necrozma. Oh, that's a Zerka tree. <clears throat> you know what, a Zerka tree would definitely give us an electric thing, wouldn't it? No, 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 oh, go away, go away, get away from me, I feel like a Zerka tree would definitely give us a th the stone we're looking for. And Groudon is the perfect choice for it. Well, it is Dynamax and Max Quake. And Groudon hasn't even done anything yet, has he? No, he did. He did hit. Okay. Oh, wow. He is a pansy compared to Segalio. Segalio was a pain in the butt. through all the things right. earthquake no not not earthquake precipice blade there we go what we were blown out of the den what why that makes no sense we should not have been blown out of the den hmm that's a shame. But yeah, I think these dens are probably going to be the best places to get these uh, stones. The stones we want for the orbs. In fact, how many orbs? How many? Oh. Okay. I know. I don't think dens count for the KOs, but oh well. So yeah, we'll go around. We'll find the dens. Maybe we'll get some cool stuff coming out of it. I'll be back when we find something. We got the Ice Stone. And on Rotom. From the Rotom. We'll see if we can catch this Rotom. I caught one last time. I want to see if I can catch this one. Nope. Okay. But we did get an Ice Stone. So, oh, an immediate into Swarm Battle. No, thank you. What did you come from? Anyway, now we can turn one of these orbs into an orb of Frozen Souls. Nice. <clears throat> okay. Now what we need left is the Thunderstone, which I wasn't expecting to get from the plant area. Well, the Ice Stone wasn't expecting to get from plant area. But the Thunderstone I was, so hopefully this should still be the best area for it. Be right back. Well, I am all out of time for this episode. We did not manage to get a Thunderstone. We did, however, get this. For those of you who don't know, in Sun and Moon, you get Cosmog, which evolves into Cosmoem, and during the day or during the night, it evolves into either Sogalio, like now, because it's daytime, or Lunala, when, night, when it's nighttime. So we just got Sogalio. So at least we got something going for us. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like. Comment, subscribe. Let me know what else you want me to try and catch or find or whatever. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.